Welcome to the National Cancer Institute's Pro CTCAE system, where you can report your symptoms and side effects to your medical team from a computer. Please be aware that this system is for research purposes only, and we will not give this information to the medical staff. It is very important that you discuss any symptoms you are having with your doctor or nurse during your regular clinic visits. To use this system, your medical team needs to create an account for you and help you set up a username and password. If you haven't received this information, please ask for it. To log in to ProCTCAE, click in the box that says Username. Then type the username that was given to you. Next, click in the password box and type in your password. Remember, your username and password are case sensitive. Letters must be typed in upper or lower case to exactly match the username and password. Passwords must be at least seven characters long and contain at least one uppercase letter, one lowercase letter, and one number. If you have forgotten your username, click on the Forgot Username link on the login page. You will be taken to a page that asks you to enter your email address. After you click on the green Submit button, your information will be emailed to you. If you have forgotten your password, click on the Forgot Password link. You will be taken to a page that asks you to enter your username. After you enter your username and click on the green Reset Password, you will then receive an email that will ask you to change your password. If you are having any problems, please inform your study coordinator or research nurse who can help you. If you can't use the computer keyboard to log into the Pro CTCAE system, you may use an on-screen keyboard. The on-screen keyboard lets you use your mouse to click on letters on the screen. On the top of the Pro CTCAE homepage, you will see the words on-screen keyboard. To use it, click the small box next to on-screen keyboard. The keyboard will appear under the login boxes. Once you've entered your username and password, click on the Login button. This will take you to your inbox. Next to the inbox heading, you will see the number of studies that are pending completion in parentheses. There will be a list of all surveys that are available to complete. This includes surveys that are available and not started, and available and in progress. If you read across from left to right under the Available Surveys heading, you will see information about the survey. The first piece of information is the survey's name. Next is the survey's status. This tells the status of the survey that is scheduled for you to complete. For example, not started or in progress. The next item shows when the survey is due in days. For example, in three days. The surveys need to be completed by the expiration date. To begin answering a survey, click on the darkly shaded green arrow that says Start to the right of the available survey information. This will take you to a list of questions that are based on symptoms and side effects that have been associated with your treatment. Read each question and choose the answer that best matches your experience. When you select an answer choice, it will be a darkly shaded green. There are no right or wrong answers. We are interested in your experiences. Sometimes after you answer a question, another question or set of questions may appear. After you have answered all the questions on each page, Click the green Next button beneath the question. If for any reason you would like to review the previous questions, you can click the blue Back button. Note that as you answer each question, the progress bar in the upper right will show how many pages of the survey you have finished and how many pages are left.
It is best to finish the survey in one sitting, but if you are interrupted, the system will remember your answers. When you return to the survey, its status will read in progress. Click on the green Start button to continue responding to the questions. The survey will begin at the last question you did not answer. Once you have finished answering all the questions, there will be a page where you can report any other symptoms that we have not asked you about. Click inside the text box to enter any symptom you are having. As you type, a list of symptoms will appear below the box. Scroll down through the list of symptoms, and if you see the symptom that you have, click to highlight it. If you prefer to use the on-screen keyboard, check the box beneath the text box next to on-screen keyboard. Please choose the symptom if it appears, and then press the green box that says Add. If you don't see the symptom that you are looking for, keep typing and more choices will appear. When you see the symptom, scroll down and click to highlight it. Add it to your list of symptoms by clicking the Add button. If you change your mind, click the Clear button. If you continue typing and you still don't see the symptom you are looking for in the list, Type your symptom into the box. Add it to your list of symptoms by clicking the Add button. If you change your mind, click the Clear button. If you choose one by mistake or change your mind, click on the symptom until the green box is white. If you choose a symptom that has already been added, a pop-up box will notify you that you cannot add the same symptom again. You may keep adding or deleting symptoms by following these instructions. These symptoms will be permanently added to your future surveys. When you are done adding symptoms, click the green Next button. To understand more about the symptoms that you have just reported, the Pro CTCAE system will ask you additional questions. As before, Read each question about the symptoms you added and choose the answer that best matches your experience. Once you have answered all of the questions, you can submit the survey by clicking the green Finish button on the final page. If you would like to review any of the questions before you submit the survey, click the blue Back button. Once you submit a survey, you cannot make changes to it. Thank you for taking the time to use the Pro CTCAE system. We hope you will find it an easy way to share information with your medical team. However, please be aware that this system is for research purposes only, and it is very important that you discuss any symptoms you are having with your doctors and nurses during your regular clinic visits. Please remember to log out of the system by clicking on the Log Out tab at the top of the page.